I'm not gonna ride the Samsung Wave and make another video or anything like that. I know every. <sighs> I gotta talk about this. I have to talk about this. So real quick, before we even get started, welcome to my channel. I'm Terry Warfield. I do motivational vlogging and I love talking about all things tech. So if you like that type of stuff, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, make sure you drop a hashtag up in here if you're part of the notification squad. Now that, not, not that that's out the way. All right, I asked a question on Twitter on if I should leave the Galaxy Note 9, which is the most powerful Android phone to date, for the Galaxy S10 Plus. And of course, the one the one question I don't expect anybody to respond to, everybody responded to. Everybody was retweeting it and commenting and everything. So I felt like this, even though I didn't want to, you know, follow the Samsung train and keep making videos that everybody else is making, this has to be talked about because so many people responded and so many people had different opinions. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase. The Galaxy Note 9 is the most powerful Android phone. And in my opinion, y'all already know how I stand. The Galaxy Note 9 is the best Android phone ever made. If y'all wanna know what case I use, a couple of you guys asked about that. This is the Ring K um, X or something like that. I'll put the link in the description. It's like 14 bucks, dope case. But anyways, the Note 9 is by today's standards, still the most powerful mobile device ever made. That's, that, that at least I know about, right? So there's nothing wrong, before I get into this, there's nothing wrong with the Note 9. It's still hugely capable, best display out there, best feature set, best cameras, although not the best software implementation, but we talked about that in another video, but you get what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with the Note 9. The Note 9 is still hugely freaking powerful. So why, why, why do I want why am I even thinking about the Galaxy S10? Well, because I'm a nerd and I'm addicted to technology as you probably are too because you're watching this. So that's why. Do I need another phone? No. Do I want the Galaxy S10? <laughs> yes. Like I, man, I, I want the Galaxy S10 bad. But let's talk about real quick why I'm having a hard time deciding if I should change to the Galaxy S10 Plus from the Galaxy Note 9. Now, let's talk about real quick what the Galaxy Note 9 does good first before we move on to the Galaxy S10. So, Galaxy Note 9, super fast processor inside, great camera, the S Pen more than anything. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a super powerful Samsung phone with a dope screen on it, great speakers, a lot of memory, fast processor, all of that good stuff. What makes the Note 9 stand out is the freaking S Pen. Listen, could I get away with not having the S Pen? Sure, I did it for years, right? But having the S Pen, having the S Pen and all of the stuff that it can do makes it very difficult to go back to a device that doesn't have an S Pen. For example, even just taking pictures, sitting your phone somewhere and not having to worry about the stupid countdown timer and jumping to get in place, you can just use literally the button on the S Pen to snap the picture. Taking notes with the S Pen, selecting stuff, copy and pasting, like everything the S10 makes so much easier on the Galaxy Note 9. So that's the one big thing I'm kind of scared of losing or going without. Like I said, is it possible? Sure it's possible. We all use phones without S Pens, but it does make life a whole lot easier. Now, with that being said, and also to reiterate, the Galaxy Note 9 is still hugely freaking powerful. Obviously, I want the S10, and if I'm gonna get the S10, I'm gonna pre-order it, number one, because I want those free buds. That's number one, which those Samsung buds are raw. If I'm gonna get it, I want the Note 9 level Galaxy S10, right? So obviously, it's a ton of new technology. The screen is better than the Note 9. The cameras are better than the Note 9. Uh, software, arguable, faster processor, more memory, more features. It is a total upgrade over the Note 9. And that's not to say that the Note 9 is, needs to be upgraded because it doesn't. But it leapfrogs the Note 9 in every single way with the exception of the S Pen. And that's what this whole shindig is about. So I have to be realistic even though I really want the Galaxy S10. Do I need it? No, because the Galaxy Note 9 does literally, and I mean literally every single thing I wanted to do in style, quick, fast, in a hurry, and all of that good stuff. But, 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 
Man, I want that Galaxy S10, man. I, I, I can't lie, I want it, yes. I mean, $1,000 is a lot of money. I don't necessarily have $1,000 laying around either. So that means either one of two things. I gotta pre-order it, get the monthly payments added to my bill, or I gotta chunk the Note 9, get some scratch for it, put that towards the Galaxy S10 Plus. What a freaking dilemma. And as a consumer, what a dilemma to have, right? There's no phone out like the Galaxy Note 9. And when the Galaxy S10 comes out, there won't be any phone like that. A lot of you guys have said, Terry, since you want the Galaxy S10, why don't you just wait to the Note 10? Because you know the Note 10 is going to have all the technology from the Galaxy S10, which is which is true. But we know how long the Note is going to take to come out. The Note not going to be out till September, October. I, I need that new tech. Like, I need it right now. You know what I'm saying? I need that new tech now. I don't want to wait till November. But I don't want to give up my S Pen. And I'm not about to carry two phones around. So I got to pick one. But which one should I pick? I want to know what you think. Drop it in the description. Let me know if you think, first of all, if you're a Note 9 user, what are you gonna do? Secondly, what do you think I should do? Again, living without the S Pen is definitely possible. Some might say that it's a great trade-off to get all of this new technology in the Galaxy S10. Can't say I don't agree. Going without it is also, like that pains my heart. It almost makes me want to stay with it because the S10 doesn't have the S Pen. I could just wait so the Note 10 comes out, right? But that's all the way in September. And by that time, then the S11 is coming around. Then I'm, it's, it's just this perpetual cycle that we stuck in, man. We stuck in. I gotta make a decision ASAP. So I need your help. I'm just gonna cut the video off here. That's all I have for you today. Peace and chicken grease. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, and I just hit 5K, y'all. I just hit 5K, y'all. But anyways, peace and chicken grease. Terry Warfield. Peace.